two bakers pitted against each other in a fiery kitchen challenge, both hoping to be crowned DCU's best baker. Welcome to the great DCU TV Bake Off. Twenty-four hours ago we provided the bakers with a brief for their first challenge. Their second challenge, however, remains a total mystery as they'll both be put to the test on their baking skill set. So without further ado, let's bring on the bakers. Hi. So how are you both feeling about the challenge? Uh, I'm a little excited. To beat Jake. A little bit nervous to beat Emma. Yeah. Bakers, all of the utensils that you need for your first challenge are laid out on the table. The first challenge is the signature challenge and this week it's cupcakes. You will have one hour to complete the challenge, so use this time wisely. Best of luck. Thank you. So guys, how are you finding the first challenge? Not too bad, Shabra. it's going quite well actually, so far. So what twist have you decided to put on yours, Jay? Um, I'm going to do a raspberry and white chocolate twist. You're going to make salsa with that? No! And how do you think you'll manage with the time? Um, going pretty well so far, I think, yeah. Not too bad. minutes. You're feeling there, confident? Yeah. I am at the moment. That's I'm looking delicious things. already. Thanks. What about you, Emma? What twist have you put on yours? Um, I've decided to go with a pumpkin one in the Halloween okay. theme. Um, doesn't sound the most appetising. Doesn't sound the most appetising, but hopefully it will, because there'll be a lot of sending in it. So, we'll see. Right, okay. Okay, well best of luck, we still have 48 minutes, so it's looking good. I'll leave you to it, okay? Okay. It smells disgusting. <laughs> So Emma, mean, you've run into a bit of a hurdle already, have yeah, you? Yeah, I put sugar in. No sugar? Yeah. It's gonna go nice in. And sweet. <laughs> It'll go in. Are you feeling a little bit more hopeful now, Jay? I am indeed. Shut up, it was really beautiful. <laughs> Don't just... panic anyway, you still have plenty of time to store today, yeah, so... Yeah, my friends are fast. Just, just get that sugar in there. Yes. Exciting. You have a lovely mound there, Jake. Thanks, Liz. This is your icing that you're working on here. Yeah, it is, yeah. Right, so, like, anyway. What yeah. kind of splendid icing are we to expect? It's going to be plain because right, they want to okay. speak for themselves. Well, they sound absolutely delicious as on their own, so I'm not expecting too decadent an icing. What about you, Emma? Um, well, I'm doing a cream cheese icing because it complements the cupcake. <laughs> Right. Very nice. And how did you fare it after the sugar? Did all those plans? I want the plan after that. I was wondering why it tastes so close. Do you think you're going to turn it okay? I think so. In the oven. I think so. And what about your icing? What's the plan? Um, we'll see. I'm going to try and make it Halloweeny. Halloweeny. Yeah. Okay. Sounds exciting. And you've 35 minutes left, so plenty of time.
So Vic, because your time is now up, happy? No. Okay, well the judges are going to come in now, so Vickers, please retire into the Vickers lounge. Yes. I think the first challenge didn't go too bad. Um, they rose and the icing went well, but they're a little bit burnt. I tried taking off some of the burn, but sure, I have to wait and see. After the first challenge, I don't know, it was going pretty well up until I realised I forgot the sugar. Then I added in the sugar, things were smooth sailing, but I just didn't have enough time to cool down my buns in the end. I think I was getting on good. Um, they didn't rise as much as mine, so hopefully that'll be the one winner. <laughs> But her icing was really nice because I snuck a taste. Um, I don't know, his looked a lot better because his were a bit more cool. However, they were burnt coming out of the oven a few of them, so I don't know. Might taste a bit bad. Uh, I think the next challenge... I'm not sure, we just did buns, so maybe like... Something like bread or something, I don't know. I don't know, there was a bit of mixed uh, thoughts about it. Some people were saying pastry. So, um, I don't know, I'll have to see. Judges, this, this is the first dish, which is the cupcakes. Please rate them from 1 to 10 in order of preference. So, these ones here, like, like, look at this on the side here. Oh, this one here, yeah, it's, it's over spilled there on that side. They're very flat, they've no kind of body to them. They're yeah. Kind of dull. There's no real consistency with them because some of them have loads of icing on them and other ones don't. Mm. So I don't know what the, the baker was doing in that. It's a lovely and slim Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know this one? <coughs> you know me? <laughs> That's from the bathroom. This one here. Be careful now. This is hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That, you got extra. This one here. Um. Very tasty. <laughs> oh my god, no. They're a bit burnt. A bit burnt. But once you get past the crisp on top, the inside of it is lovely and moist. It's not too moist. I don't know. I, I think it's a bit. It's a bit dry. I don't no, know. I really like this one. Oh, I think I it's really nice. Yeah. yeah, but I don't like the crust. And there's that. You don't like the crust. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're asking stuff inside it as well. It's it is nice. I'm actually going to have another bite of this one. So, judges, can you please reveal your scores for Baker and one? I want to give the first cake a six because I think its, um, it's flavour is a lot nicer even if it wasn't consistent. Um, I think they're inconsistent, so I gave it five. Um, the cupcakes, they weren't cooked all the way through and the icing on top of them was different on each one, so I'm giving them a two. Um, they were too soggy and they just didn't taste that nice either. So judges, can you please now reveal your scores for baker number two? Um, I gave the cupcake number two a three because I didn't like the icing and it was also slightly burnt. Um, I really liked the icing so I gave it a number eight. Uh, same thing, the icing on top was very sloppy and they were a little bit burnt but they had lovely flavour so I'm giving them a 5. I'm giving them a 7 because they're about cooked and the last one and they did taste nicely. Bakers, your next challenge is the skills test and I can now reveal what the challenge is sugar cookies. I have the recipes here, you have an hour to complete them. So off you go. Time starts now.
Shut up, Emma, I hate you. So, guys, how are we getting on with the second challenge? Pretty well so far, I want. Yeah, Emma, I think you're looking quite good there. Jake, shut what up. About you? <laughs> Nothing to say. It's, um. It's perfect. It's not looking the best. But you've 27 <laughs> minutes. Listen, there's no need to get testy. Don't take it out in the center. I'm just doing my job. But you do have 47 minutes to put it all together. Thanks. Are you thinking about starting over? No. No, just add more flour. <laughs> more, more flour. Positive thinking, positive thinking. My guys will leave you to it. Where's the king for now? This is going in whatever way it looks. Okay. They don't taste great. Mine tasted better, it didn't look as good, so. Potato, potato. 
When I saw it first, I was actually quite happy. I thought it would be easier than it was. But it wasn't that easy, actually. No, I think it was pretty easy, just Jake <laughs> messed up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He put in too much egg. Or too many eggs. It was... Um, I don't know, the icing was weird because we both had completely different consistencies of our icing, so we didn't know which one was right. Jake got on pretty <laughs> because he put in too many eggs. <laughs> but it looked great at the end. Look for the Christmas scene. Right. I do think she got on well as much as kills me to say it. But um her her icing didn't go wrong. But then she fixed it, so that doesn't matter either. Um yeah, so I'm very nervous. Judges, here are the sugar cookies from the second challenge, the skills test. This is the, so this is the skills test, and um, just in terms of appearances, this one um, <laughs> it looks joined together. They're all yeah, like, they're kind awesome. of stuck together, they didn't get enough time to dry. But I like the, I like the consistency and shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really yeah. Good. The colours are nice. Um, that's really the layout of it. Yeah, but you is very lazy though. With this one? <laughs> That you is super late. I mean, what's bugging me about this one is if you were to put these out at a party, someone's gonna get more than someone else. So I don't like that. Whereas with these ones, it's more evenly spread. Yeah. And I agree with you on the U. This, like, I understand <laughs> what they're going for with the DCU TV. Yeah. But it's, it's just, it's kind of sloppy again. You know? It's a bit more original though. Yeah. A bit more original, yeah. But still, it's sloppy. Let's start with this one. So judges, can you please reveal your scores for Baker 1? Yeah. Okay, for the first contestant um, of the sugar cookie batch, I'm giving them a 5. Um, I think uh, they look pretty nice, but they're even too crunchy, so I'm giving it a 3. Um, pretty much the same. I didn't like the there was too much icing, so I'm only going to give it a 2. They're uh, a bit too crunchy, but they're still nice, so I don't so judges, can you please now reveal your scores for baker number two? For the second batch of sugar cookies, I gave it a four because they I, I didn't like the presentation and they were also slightly burnt. Um, I gave them a uh, six because I thought they tasted nicer. These ones were better. There was a better consistency with the icing, and I liked the crunch. Seven. They were all right. They were better than the last one, so I gave them a five. So bakers, the results are in a very close margin. The closest we've had in the great DCU TV Bake Off history. One baker received 37 points, the other received 39 points. I can now reveal that the winner is, with 39 <laughs> points, a 
Emma. The thirst man. <laughs> well done, Emma. Well Be done. gracious. So you win a voucher for Domino's. Yes. Well done. Are you happy enough? You're very happy. Thank you very much. Have you anything to say to the loser? Uh, I honestly thought that Jacob's going to win. He's a very worthy opponent. Jay, like could you kind of see what's happening though? Yeah, it's the second test, that was it. I never even told him. Turn the towel. Thanks a million, you've been great contestants. Say goodbye to everyone.